everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marion. And in today's video, we are doing, or I will be doing, October's Shop My Stash. I am trying to use products that I normally don't show on my videos on a regular basis. I know I have some faves and I kind of always reaching for them, but I do have other products that I purchased and it's like, hello, I'm here. What about me? So that's what I'm going to be doing for the month of October is trying out these particular products that, you know, need a little love. Now the rest of this video will be a voiceover because the landscapers are outside my window and I don't want you hearing the lawnmower and all of that. So yeah. But before I jump into this video, don't forget to like, comment, and of course, subscribe. So as my moisturizer, I'm gonna use the Bobbi Brown Mineral Enriched Face Base. Um, you can use this as a primer, but I just feel like it'll work better as my moisturizer because I am going to put on a different primer after I do my brows. So for my brows, I will be using the Huda Beauty Micro Blade Brow Pencil in Dark Chocolate. I really like this brow pencil because the strokes is simple. It's easy for me to get both of my brows to look more like sisters than cousins because they be doing their own thing. As you can see, it's very pigmented or it's the right amount of pigment for my brows where they can look as natural as possible, but very refined. I am going to take a concealer to clean under the brow, but I'm not so much worried or concerned about cleaning up the top of my brows. As you can see, I really didn't need to do too much because of the brow pencil itself. Moving on to primer, I am using Charlotte Tilbury primer. I really love this primer. I feel like it will work well with any foundation. And so for October's foundation pick is the MAC Nourishing Waterproof Foundation. Now this is not my current shade because my tan has left. So I really need to get NC44, but I am going to finesse it as I always do. Um, as you can see, it's looking a little bit orangey on my skin right now, but trust and believe, trust the process. Now with this concealer, this is a dose of colors, meet your hue concealer and medium tan. This isn't a new concealer, but it's new to me. This is my first time ever using this concealer. And I must say, I really, really like it. So I will be ringing up on this particular shade. And I might go a little bit brighter just so I can have that brightness up under my eye for those glam type of nights or days. Brighten my under eye, I'm going to use the Jaclyn Cosmetics Precision Concealer. I'm really liking this concealer. It's in medium tan. The only thing is you have to remember to blend it out fast. As you can see, I totally forgot because typically I would do one under eye at a time. But I definitely had to rush to blend that out because it sets so quick because this particular concealer doesn't require translucent powder to set the under eye even though it's just a force of habit for me to use the translucent powder. Now, before I go in with the translucent powder and setting my under eye, I am using the LYS Cream Bronzer. I really like this shade. It's more on the neutral side, so I can 
go get a different shade that's more warmer to give me that bronzy look but so far so good i really like the way that it blends out especially if you spray your face with some setting spray then it will blend out so effortlessly and it won't look patchy Now, I decided to take a little bit of concealer to kind of blend in with the foundation so it can, you know, look a little bit more of my shade on the neutral side. And doing that definitely, definitely helped to tone down the oranginess of the foundation. Also, I decided to take the translucent powder and the translucent honey from Laura Mercier and mix them together. I feel like combining those made the perfect under eye shade for me or under eye powder, if you get what I'm saying. And of course, with Laura Mercier, we already know that it sets the under eye matte. And I really, really love this setting powder. Now, I am going to set my bronzer with the LYS matte bronzer. It's the same shade as the cream, which is Courage, it's tan. And I also feel like this is more on the neutral side and I can step it up and get a more warmer shade. Moving on to the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural Powder in medium deep to set my entire face. I really like this powder as I explained in my favorites video. And for blush, I'm taking the Huda Beauty Glowish vegan blush powder now this is a small powder and it costs 21 dollars but i like the way that it looks on my skin it's a coral tone it's very subtle and it's not too overpowering if you get what i'm saying for highlighter i definitely had to tap back into the one size beauty disney fantasia club highlighter i really like the way it looks on my face and Moving on to eyes using the KVD tattoo liner. This liner has become one of my favorites as well in brown. So I definitely want to get another brown and as well as a black. For lashes, I really, really like these lashes. Before applying them, I definitely need to put on mascara. And I'm using the pure mascara. That wand is huge. And I also going to use a Sephora eyeliner pencil for my under eye, you know, to finish all of that off before I finally put on the lashes. I'm trying a new lash adhesive as well from Sephora. This is the clear. I've been using the black version. And while it's okay, I feel like I'm missing the House of Lashes adhesive. I feel like that was the best lash adhesive lash adhesive and sephora don't carry it anymore so i'm having to you know use what i can use and thus far sephora's lash adhesive is doing what i needed to do so your girl didn't know which lip pencil she wanted to use so i'm showing you my little collection that i have but i also realized that i have the ColourPop and harry potter liquid lipstick and R. Weasley, it's a coral shade because it matches his hair perfectly. And when I tell you, it paired perfectly with the Dose of Colors and Nematane lip pencil. I love the shade. It is great for fall. And I did put a lip gloss on top of it after this video, which I kind of regret doing because it kind of took away the look. But definitely pairing that lip pencil with that liquid lipstick because it has a mousse feeling was the bomb so definitely check out those liquid lipsticks okay so this is the final look for october shop my stash i did not do any eyeshadow because i want to use multiple palettes throughout um, the month so I don't want to box myself into committing to only one eyeshadow palette if you get what I'm saying but a lot of these products aren't really new but they're new to me or I've used it maybe once or twice except for like the lip the new hair powder collection from 
ColourPop. I really like how this lip matches with the Dose of Color lip liner. That is the collab that they did with Nima Tang. It's um, the coral lip set that I got. There's also a nude lip set that she did with them. I will link that video of me trying out that collab if you want to check that out. Also, um, I love the lashes. Oh my God, they are so light and they're not heavy on the eye. And they stand up when it comes to quality to lashes that cost like $28, $30. Um, you know the brand because I rock that brand all the time. So I give it to Kiss. Kiss is really stepping up when it comes to their lash game. Um, or maybe I'm just new to it and late to, you know, hopping on with using Kiss products. If that is the case, then I am a stand now and I definitely will get more of these lashes, especially since there is still a sale going on at Ulta. I don't know if this video will be up before the sale ends or after, but needless to say, these Kiss Lash Culture Masterpiece, one of a kind Lux Lashes, um, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely feeling them. When it comes to the foundation, like I mentioned before, this is more of my summer shade and my tan has went away. So I'll need to get the NC44. That was NC45. But I was able to finesse, you know, like I always do by adding some concealer to kind of blend in with the color. And also when I did the powder and everything. I've also talked about LYS bronzer. Did a video on that. Love the bronzer. Love the Huda Beauty Glowish Blush. It's very small for $21, but I talked about that before as well. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you're using any of these products or if you're interested, like I always say, leave a comment as well. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already. Hit the notification bell. And as always, thank you for watching.